Happy birthday! You've been training so hard. I know it's not much, but I think you'll win for sure with those. Do you like them? Babe, are you serious? You know we don't have extra money for stuff like this. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Oh, baby, you got this! <laughs> oh my god. The way you passed everyone at the end, that was amazing. What's that about? I thought you filled up the tank this morning. I get paid tomorrow. I thought we could make it. Why would you spend $300 on these stupid fucking shoes? I'm really sorry, I- No. You always do shit like this. I'll be back in two hours with some gas. Everything. Thank you. Not gonna lie, that intro took a while. Today we're talking about what's going viral right now, Kling's new 2.5 update, and how to put yourself into an AI film in ways that have never really been possible like this until now. Let's take a look. So when it comes to this short film, honestly, there is a lot to unpack here. So I won't really be able to cover everything, but I'll show you the sort of fundamental workflows that I used. So here in VidBuzz.io, I'm just gonna paste in this prompt right here that says, a close up of a man sitting at a dining room table. He has an expression of sadness. Describe the surrounding in detail, make it look cinematic. And so when I click this button, it's going to enhance this prompt to make it uh, you know, really nice. Which by the way, if you're not familiar with VidBuzz, I have a full demonstration down in the description below if you want to check that out. So here it's spit out the prompt for me. And now coming up here, I'm gonna switch this to character mode and I'm gonna select myself as the character and then just click generate. Let's see what we get with that. Okay, so after doing that, I have a handful of different variations here. So let's just say I wanted to work with this one, for example. All I have to do is come over here. I'm gonna click this little check mark, and now you can see it set that image as the active image. So now I can work with this image specifically. Now coming over here to consistency mode, I have the ability to use these different models. So I can use Nano Banana, C Dream 4, Runway Gen 4, or Context Pro. And so let's just say that I wanted to create the old version of myself. I'm going to click C Dream 4 because C Dream 4 works really good for like, you know, making yourself look older, making yourself look younger, whatever. So now coming back down to the prompt, I'm just saying make the man 80 years old. I'll set that as the prompt, generate, and here's what I ended up with. So as we can see, it kept everything consistent, the table, the house, the dishes, everything, but it's basically just modified my face to be 80 years old. But now let's say I want multiple angles and profiles of this shot. So now I'm going to select the old man version as the new active image, and we can now see that that new image is up here set as the active image and when it comes to creating multiple perspectives generally nano banana works the best for this so i'm going to switch it to nano banana i'll come over here to the filters and first let's just try a zoomed in perspective all right so here is the zoomed in version and now let's say i want a side profile of this one so i'm going to select this as the active image come back to the filters and this time i'll click on side profile 
Okay, so now we're seeing this side profile, but you can also obviously make any modifications that you want. So just for example, I'm gonna say, give the man a long beard. Let's see what we get with that. And there we go. Now I have an image of me as an old man with a long beard. So this was kind of the base workflow when it came to creating the characters and multiple perspectives and so on. Now, just like any tool, it takes a lot of generations and testing and tweaking and playing around with the prompts to ultimately get the different perspectives and the scenes that you want. But once you're able to get the right image, then you can just go ahead and switch this over to video mode. And here you can switch this into VO3. And then you can bring your images to life like this. I'm really sorry. I No, you always do shit like this. Another example would be something like this, where I'm creating, you know, the version of the old shoes and the new shoes, or just removing the shoes from the box and so on. All I would have to do here is bring that image and drop it into the active image. Make sure we come over here to consistency mode. I'll go ahead and leave it on nano banana. And here I'll just say, remove the shoes. And now here we have this empty shoe box. So now let's say I want to add that note into the shoe box. Well, I'm gonna select this as the active image. But now in order to add the note, I'm gonna say, make it so there is an old note in the shoe box that says, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so here's what we got. And as we can see inside the box, it says, please subscribe to the channel. Now it did add some random cookies into the scene for some reason, but of course I could just go ahead and set this new image as the active image and tell it to remove the cookies or do whatever I want. So with VidBuzz, you can switch between standard mode, consistency mode, character mode, and video mode, but it's really Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4. And having the ability to easily generate images, switch to Nano Banana, switch to Sea Dream 4, make modifications, change perspectives, having the ability to do that quickly and efficiently is really the main thing that made this video possible. Whereas I would have never attempted to do something like this before. But if you want to see a more detailed breakdown of my tools and workflows, be sure to come join the Creator Secrets community on school. As of this video, it's completely free to join and check it out. So if you want to see how to create and monetize at a high level, I'll have the link for this down in the description below. So next, let's talk about viral wisdom. Now the wisdom niche has been popular for a long time, but this account is doing things a little bit differently. First, let's take a look at the video. If you love too much, you will be cheated. If you speak too much, you will lie. If you cry too much, you will lose your sight. Now, this is a little bit different than the viral wisdom that most of us are used to. So here in VidBuzz.io, I can of course scroll through all of the most viral AI niche categories. And if I come right over here to motivation and wisdom, this is gonna show me the most viral videos related to motivation and wisdom. I'm gonna put it on the last seven days. Now, when it comes to the wisdom niche, most of us are kind of used to seeing all of this, you know, stoicism videos and stuff like that. But this video here at the top was kind of an interesting take on the wisdom niche. In fact, if I pop open this video on Instagram, we can see that this video has 33.2 million views, right? So it's basically just random old people spitting some wisdom game uh, to the viewers here. But it's not just that one video. I mean, this account has a ton of videos that have six and seven figure views. So with VidBuzz, I can pretty much just take a screenshot of some of these old people. And then coming down to the icon right here, I can just paste that screenshot in and upload that to my media library. And then all I have to do is click this little paintbrush right here. This is going to bring us into the AI canvas. And now if I click on the media library, we can see that I've already uploaded a handful of old people images into here. So so I'll just go ahead and start with this one right here. So if I select that, click the button, it will set this as the active image. And now I can build a prompt based off of that image by clicking this button here. So now it's spit out the prompt right here. And so all I have to do is come to this little button, click that, and it will generate an image based on that prompt. So here's the image that I got from that. Now, right now it's currently set to flux. Let's go ahead and try Sea Dream 4 and see what that gives us. Okay, so here's what it gave us with Sea Dream 4, which these images tend to look super realistic, but another really good model for for realism is uh, Google Imagen 4. So let's go ahead and try that one. Okay, and so here's what we got with Imagen 4. But since this is gonna be an Instagram Reel, we wanna go ahead and change the aspect ratio to nine by 16. So I'll do that and click the button again. And so here's what I got with that. But now we have to make the old man spit some wisdom. So coming down here to the prompt iteration, I'm just gonna say, make it so he says, don't chase buses or people. Another one always comes along if you're patient. Cool, so now when I click this button, it's going to insert this into the prompt. 
So here's our new prompt. And now I can just go ahead and pop this into video mode. I'm gonna switch the model to VO3. And now I just have to come over here and click the little check mark so that this becomes the new active image and it will apply this video prompt to this image. Let's see what happens. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here's what we got. Don't chase buses or people. Another one always comes along if you're patient. So that's pretty much it. And then I can just come up here and change out the reference image to maybe this old man right here. Generate a new prompt. Here's the new prompt that it spit out. Click generate. Here's the new image. Now, I'm not sure why it gave him a flute right here, but I can easily iterate the prompt and just say, make it so he is holding some coffee. I'll click the button and now it's going to make that change into the prompt. Here's the new prompt. Let's see what we get this time. Okay, so here is the new image and he's holding some coffee here. Very nice. And then I can just follow that same workflow to make him say some kind of wisdom. Now, the reason that I found this account interesting is because this workflow is so simple and so easy that this is the type of workflow that you could theoretically make a 100% fully automated system using N8N that can create all of the wisdom quotes, generate all of the images, create all of the video clips, do all of the posting and literally everything. Now, I'm certainly not the most experienced when it comes to N8N, but if you do have interest in building that sort of full automated system, this is my brother's community right here. And he's basically a wizard when it comes to fully automated systems. So if you wanna check out his community, I'll have the link for this down in the description below. Now, the next account I thought was pretty interesting because this guy is basically like, you know, a traditional VFX artist. Shout out to Chalkly Visuals. But if we scroll down, we can see his videos are getting pretty good views, 600,000, 800,000, 100,000, 300,000. And he basically just makes these really cool, like cinematic visuals using traditional methods. Let's take a look at this one. So I thought it would be pretty cool to see if I could reproduce these types of visuals with AI. Let's see what happens. So for this one, I created this little video clip right here, and I basically just brought this into Runway Aleph. For those that don't know, Runway Aleph, you basically bring in a reference video, and then you can tell it how you want the video to be modified. So in this case, I brought in that video, and then I said, the man is sitting on top of a Volkswagen Type 2 van looking into the distance on a tropical beach at sunset. And a lot of these results just did not really come out quite right. The proportions are wrong. There was a lot of weird stuff going on in basically all of these clips. I'm not sure what was going on in this one right here. However, with Runway Aleph, you can also bring in a reference image. So I just took a little screenshot of that video clip from Instagram. And so we can see that down here in the left corner. And this is the one that I got from that. Definitely the closest, but still some really weird stuff going on here with the arm kind of just bent in the wrong direction. And I'm not sure I've ever seen a van quite like that one, kind of like an oversized Tonka toy. But overall, this just didn't really seem to work. So instead, I brought this image into vidbuzz.io, generated a prompt, and generated a few images and ended up with this one right here. Then I switched it over to consistency mode and told it to give me a side profile. So I ended up with this one here. Then I brought the image into Photoshop and switched the perspective like this. Then I brought in this image of me sitting on the bench from earlier. I removed the background, sized it up like so, then just touched up the rough edges a little bit. Now overall, this still looks like a pretty terrible Photoshop job, but Photoshop now has this feature called Harmonize, which will basically take my character and hopefully make it look a little bit more natural in this scene. And so after doing that, here's the difference, which just created more of a kind of silhouette look, which makes more sense because the sun is directly behind my character. Then I just brought the image into Kling AI, pasted in my prompt, and made a few generations. So after doing that, here's what I ended up with right here, which I would say looks pretty good. I did a couple in 10 seconds, and then here is a five second one right here, which also looks pretty good. Now, as I was filming this video, Kling literally just launched their new model, which is Kling 2.5 Turbo. So I went ahead and ran another one on Kling 2.5 Turbo, and this was the result with that. And I would say that, yeah, this one definitely came out really good. And the cool thing is Kling 2.5 Turbo claims to produce much better results and it's actually cheaper than the previous models. So this is a really cool update from Kling. In any case, I brought this clip into Premiere Pro and then I did a little bit of color grading and this is what I got. <laughs> 
doing that, I happened to come across this video right here, which has 8.6 million views. Let's take a look. <laughs> So I thought that was a pretty cool clip and I figured I would do something similar to try and test out Kling 2.5. Here's what I got. Now the way that you would do that is super simple. All I did here was basically just create this little video clip of me sweeping the backyard. And then right here, I sit onto the broom. And then all I did here was basically take a snapshot from here. So then I ended up with this image right here. And that is the image that I brought into Kling AI, pasted in my prompt down here. And then I ended up with this version right here. Now this is a version that I did with the older model, Kling 2.1. I would imagine that the other creator did use Kling 2.1. So I'm sure if I played around with the prompt a bit, I could probably get this to look a little bit better, but this one did have a lot of problems. And then running the same exact clip on 2.5, I ended up with this clip right here. And this one definitely does look a lot better, but there definitely is still a problem with the physics and just some weird stuff going on. And so after going back and forth between 2.1 and 2.5, I can definitely confirm that 2.5 is better, which again is really nice because 2.5 is cheaper. So once again, here was the end result. <laughs> And with that, I'll leave you with some profound wisdom by our beloved Kira, who is recovering from her car accident and has really walked away with some new profound discoveries. Don't forget to check the description for all the stuff. To meet girl in park is good. To park meet in girl is better.